Hey guys, in previous part I was showing you how to install basic Angular 5 and now we have already served it on localhost and in this part I will show you how to set up Firebase and how to connect it to our Angular application which we already created. So for this let's go to FirebaseAngular.com and here we go. Basically, Firebase is for our backend side, so we will use it as API. Uh, we will not use some local MySQL or some other database. We will use Angular Firebase as database, and it have a lot of features, very, very useful features, like a real-time database, crash reporting, authentication, cloud storage, even hosting. You can host your application directly here. And a lot, a lot of features. So, basically, Firebase is a solution to have everything online don't think about creating your own database and creating your uh, server for this, thinking about uh, scalability, thinking about analytics things and so on. So we have everything here and we just can create our database here and connect our application to this database and connect also authentication and uh, have all analytics which we need. So, let's go and get started. And we will go to console of firebasegoogle.com And here we just can go and create a project. Let's create a project which we will use. CMS database and even you can create, select the region and create a project. Here we go. Our project is created and we can connect it uh, to our mobile application, to iOS or Android or to web application. So here we have a authentication part, database, storage, hosting, analytics things we have. I will show you all these parts when we already will have some connection with our application. And uh, we will also create authentication for our application. Just now get let's start it from database and just let's uh, connect our project to our Angular application. For this we need to go to dashboard and select add Firebase to our web app. And when we click we get a configuration which we need to add to our application and get it connected. So basically we will not need all this part, we will need only configuration variables and in Angular application basically there is a lot of way how to connect and some of guys are connecting it uh, directly from component but uh, the best way is to connect from environments so you have a production environment and have a development environment and for each one you have you can have different Firebase database for testing purpose and for production one. So here uh, we will add the same for both development and production because we, we just have only one now. And so let's have uh, some name for our uh, variable of Firebase. Let's call it Firebase and 
we have copied this part, we can just do in this way. Okay, we just can copy this. production okay and uh, by the way about git we even have a git version in control um, monitoring under visual source code so we can see which one is new which one is modified um, I was adding some image here I modified these files and if we go here we can even just do a git commit from here, type a message, and we will have our commit. Let's go back to files, and now uh, we have these configurations, and we can connect them to our component just by going to component and type here uh, import. environment from uh, which we already have somewhere here I think environments and and also visual source code is checking runtime maybe we don't have this part maybe we type it something wrong um, and it's helping a lot so something is wrong here environments yeah environments and environment okay so now we have imported it the next step uh, will be to include one component which will help us to work with angular fire which call it Firebase 2, Angular, Firebase 2. So you can just Google it and find it, Angular Fire 2. And to include it, we just need to run this command npm install Firebase Angular Fire save. Let's do it from our visual source code from integrated terminal which I already explained it and it will include angular fire component in our project nice uh, we have installed it, Angular Fire with Firebase, and now we can just go to our app models and import already installed component. To do this, we are doing import and Angular Fire model. From remember correctly, Angular Fire 2. Okay, sorry, Angular Model. Cool, and if you didn't remember something, you can go to GitHub of Angular Fire component and here you will find everything you need okay uh, let's go back to our application and also we can connect here import angular fire database model and it's already from uh, Angular 
Fire 2 um, database. Okay. And after having these models, we can go and do injection and import these models in our imports. So we can do here, we have help from visual source code, Angular Fire model, dot initialize up and from here already we are taking from environment. Environment Firebase. Cool, we have it connected. Okay, now as we have already connected with Angular Fire, we can try to retrieve some information. For this, we need to add some information in our database and try to get it. For this we are going to database and getting started. Okay, we have CMS database which is empty now. We can just do an import JSON and select JSON file which will be imported in our database. And to save a time, I have prepared some snippet of JSON. Let's go and take it. This is a file, which is a simple JSON of pages. And we have description, title and URL for each page. And we need to close it properly. Okay. So let's go back and import JSON and browse. And import. Cool. Data imported successful. And here we have Angular Guide Ionic 3 from Scratch, React with Redux and Wood.js to guide, which we have defined it in our JSON file. Perfect. In the next lecture, we will get this data from Angular application using Angular Fire tool component. So, see you soon. Bye.